Are lymph nodes in the neck a sign and symptom of HIV or AIDS? Hello. Welcome to Mark Medicals, a channel dedicated to teaching you about HIV infection. Today, I am gonna answer this question that you guys have been asking me on this channel. Does having lymph nodes in your neck imply living with HIV? In this video, I will also answer the following related questions. 1. What can cause swollen lymph nodes in neck? 2. At what stage of HIV do lymph nodes swell? 3. What neck lymph nodes swell with HIV? 4. Does having lymph nodes mean you have HIV? 5. Why does HIV cause enlarged lymph nodes? 6. How do HIV AIDS related lymph nodes look like? If you are in a hurry and have no time to watch the whole video, jump to numbers 4 and 5, or the last sections of this video where I explain in detail how HIV AIDS related lymph nodes look like. But, if you want to know the why, the how, and the what of this question, I highly recommend watching the whole video. For instance, will HIV related enlarged lymph nodes go away? Ready? Let's dive in and answer your questions now. 1. What can cause swollen lymph nodes in neck? The normal size of lymph nodes is half an inch, or the size of a pea or baked bean. In normal circumstances, you should not feel your lymph nodes. Your lymph nodes may be swollen because they are actively producing chemicals to fight off infections like HIV. But, is it only HIV that causes enlarged lymph nodes? The answer is a NO, and a YES. By the end of this video, you will have understood everything. Swollen lymph nodes in the neck can be caused by a variety of factors, including infections, inflammation, and cancer. Here are some of the most common causes. Infections. The most common cause of swollen lymph nodes is an infection from bacteria or viruses, such as an upper respiratory infection, cold and flu, sinus infection, strep throat, mononucleosis, tuberculosis, sexually transmitted illness, skin infections, and others. Inflammation. Swollen lymph nodes can also be caused by inflammation, such as gingivitis, mouth sores, and autoimmune disorders. Cancer. Although rare, swollen lymph nodes can be caused by cancer, such as lymphoma, leukemia, and metastatic cancer. What I need to tell you is that the lymph nodes in the neck are particularly susceptible to swelling, but they can also occur in other areas of the body, such as the groin, armpit, and behind the ears. If you have swollen lymph nodes, it's important to see a doctor to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. 2. At what stage of HIV do lymph nodes swell? I already mentioned that one of the causes of swollen lymph nodes is viruses. One of the viruses that may cause your lymph nodes to swell is the human immunodeficiency virus or HIV. HIV infection has three stages. These stages are, assuming you are not taking any HIV medications, the first stage occurs during the first zero to three months. The second stage follows the first stage and lasts for around 10 to 15 years. The third stage is the AIDS stage and lasts for nearly three years. Of the three stages, you will only experience signs and symptoms related to HIV during the first and third stages only. But, if you contracted HIV, you will have persistently enlarged lymph nodes throughout your HIV-positive living life. If you just contracted HIV, you will likely experience what we call acute or early HIV symptoms that occur one to two weeks after exposure or within the first three months in some people. The most common signs of early HIV infection are enlarged lymph nodes alongside other symptoms I have been mentioning on this channel. 3. What neck lymph nodes swell with HIV? Swollen lymph nodes in the neck are common in people with HIV. The lymph nodes on the side of the neck, under the jaw, or in the armpits or groin are most often involved. Swollen lymph nodes may occur within a few days of HIV contraction, but it's possible not to experience any other HIV symptoms for up to several years after contracting the virus. Usually, healthy lymph nodes are not visible. 
If there's an infection, they become swollen and may look like hard bumps about the size of beans. 4. Does having lymph nodes mean you have HIV? The answer is no, but sometimes yes. As I already mentioned, there are many other diseases that cause enlarged lymph nodes other than HIV infection. For instance, your lymph nodes could also swell if you are suffering from diseases like TB, syphilis, cancer, mumps, sore throats, and others. In people living with HIV, enlarged lymph nodes are sometimes usually the only sign that shows you are living with the virus. 5. Why does HIV cause enlarged lymph nodes? After exposure to the human immunodeficiency virus or HIV, the virus is carried to your nearby lymph nodes where infection largely takes place within the first 72 hours. In response to the new infection, the body will organize a fight against the new virus that just invaded your body. The body fights back HIV by producing more white blood cells and this causes enlarged lymph nodes. In AIDS, the virus destroyed your body's immunity and now your body is harboring many infections like TB, cancer, etc. These infections cause your lymph nodes to enlarge due to those infections. AIDS-defining conditions. As HIV progresses, it can lead to AIDS-defining conditions, which are serious illnesses that can cause the lymph nodes to swell. 6. How do HIV-AIDS-related lymph nodes look like? Finally, if you have enlarged lymph nodes and are worried if you have HIV or not, here are your take-home points. HIV-AIDS-related lymph nodes are usually generalized. This implies that HIV causes swollen lymph nodes in more than two to three regions of your body. You could feel enlarged lymph nodes around both sides of the head or neck, both sides of the armpits, and both sides of your groin or loins. The second feature is that, HIV-related enlarged lymph nodes tend to be persistent. Your enlarged lymph nodes will return to their normal sizes if the bacteria, fungi, and other viruses get cured. On the other hand, people living with HIV could live with enlarged lymph nodes forever. HIV-AIDS-related enlarged lymph nodes are not painful. Viruses tend to cause enlarged lymph nodes that are less painful. This is different if the cause is HIV-AIDS. Swollen lymph nodes due to HIV may look like hard bumps about the size of beans. They may feel rubbery, movable and squishy. In conclusion, enlarged lymph nodes may not necessarily mean that you are living with HIV or AIDS. But, they remain the sign that persists in people living with the virus. Many HIV clients have zero symptoms but almost 100% of them will have enlarged and non-painful lymph nodes. If you found out that you have enlarged lymph nodes in more than one to two regions of your body, I highly recommend you go for an HIV test as soon as possible.